Reba McIntyre and country music legend Kenny Rogers were close colleagues and friends. A friend McIntyre was able to lean on during a pretty traumatic moment in her life. Not long after McIntyre lost most of her band in a plane crash, Rogers came calling. He had a job for her, and in looking back on the 81-year-old's death, McIntyre recognized how important that gesture was to her healing. I'm Addison Haker with Taste of Country, and if this is the first time you're hearing about McIntyre's band's devastating plane crash, or just need to be refreshed, head to the link in the top right hand corner to catch our secret history video on the topic. And if you're new here, we want to say hi and welcome! And if you're a regular to our channel, make sure that bell next to the subscription button is hit so you're notified every time we launch a video. McIntyre, whose 30th anniversary of the Rumor Has It album drops on Friday, September 11th, first recalled touring with Rogers. Uh, I toured Australia with Kenny and just absolutely loved it. During an interview with Taste of Country and Select Media, when pressed for a memory of Rogers, McIntyre recalled a specific yet pivotal moment, one that came seven months after the plane crash killed eight members of her team, including her manager. Kenny saved my sanity in 91. I went, he asked me to come do the Gambler movie. Speaking of Kenny Rogers, let us know in the comments below if there's a certain Kenny Rogers song that has helped you through a hard time. The Gambler movie McIntyre was referring to was the NBC's The Gambler Returns, The Luck of the Draw, a made-for-television movie in 1991. Hey, I've got some business to take care of, but when I get back, we'll go out and have a big steak dinner and some wine. I was still in a state of disbelief and not knowing what I'm going to do moving forward after the plane crash, and so he asked me to come do the Gambler 5 movie with him. The Gambler Returns the Luck of the Draw was the fourth of five movies based on his hit song The Gambler. In this film, McIntyre plays Burgundy Jones, and she's trying to get Roger's character Brady Hawks to a big gambling tournament. Give this video a thumbs up if you've watched the series before. McIntyre has a bond with Rogers that although he's gone, she'll never forget him. I miss him so much. He's a, such a special person. He was a big hearted giver. Rogers died of natural causes at home on March 20th, 2020. He was the first Country Music Hall of Famer to die in 2020, with Charlie Daniels being the other. I'm Addison Haker for Taste of Country. Thanks for watching, and as always, thanks for subscribing.